Alright guys, so what we're going to be discussing today is my hybrid barbarian. Now, for a lot of people who are new to the game or are looking for different builds for the barbarian uh, for endgame, your best bet is going to be either a hero damage or a tank barbarian. Me personally, I prefer my hybrid. That's my opinion though. But if you ever decide to build the hybrid barbarian, oh, someone's saying, what's up? Um, this is the setup that you are going to want to use. So for the pet, well, first we'll go through the asc uh, ascension stuff, okay? Now, I understand a lot of people don't have 17,000 ascension and everything else, so... I'm going to break this down for you guys bit by bit. Alright. So, in the Fury section, you're always going to want to max this out. Your Siphon Stance out. And then, uh, your Turtle Stance. So, once you max out your Fury Capacity, and you max out Siphon Stance, if you don't have enough to max it out, put everything into siphon stance after your fury capacity and then if you max it out and you have some left over then you start doing turtle stance right here in the middle you're going to do the wrath capacity once you max your wrath capacity out then you are going to start doing lightning stance once lightning stance is maxed out uh you are pretty much free to do whatever you want in the middle at that point then for the hero always max out your movement speed your hero crit chance your hero crit damage and then at that point you are going to want to put into hero damage and hero health equally so let's say you have 500 points left over after both of these you're going to put 250 into health and 250 into the hero damage. And the reason you do that is because my hybrid barbarian, as you will see later on, is built off of damage and health. So, for the pet, you are going to want the new uh, pet that just recently came out, which is Friendly Ghost. It does not matter what the... Uh, element is on the pet so it can be pet damage or um earth water fire it doesn't matter because you are going to be using ring of fire with it then your empowerment stats you want as hero health and hero damage your pet attack rate the friendly ghost will attack at one second at max rate you want to get it as close to that as possible it is crucial that you get all of this as close to perfect as possible. Now moving on to the helmet. Okay, I run dodge, robust, and counterattack on every piece of gear. And as you can see, I do have my god lead. It doesn't matter if it's god lead or not. My godly stats right now aren't even rolled to what they need to be. If you are re-rolling your godly stat to help increase your damage that you can do on him you are going to want either critical chance or hero damage on all four pieces of gear okay so helmet shards we're gonna go with draining strikes which is chaos four that's going to increase how much healing you are doing through siphon stance it is insanely good for my uh hybrid barbarian then we're going to run into Gilded Worm Scarf, which reduces how much damage you take. Echoing Shout, we're going to run into that one, because when you do your shout, it increases how much damage you do. And then, like I said, we're going to be running Dodge Chip, Robust, and Counter Attack. The only one we don't do that on is the chest piece. We are going to run Snakeskin, Dodge Chip, and Counter Attack. Pretty much the Snakeskin acts as a robust, 
but even better because it also decreases how much damage you take. Then we're going to run into Taser Suit. Taser Suit is awesome, especially for if you are doing Chaos 9, 8, 7, so on, or anything that has to do with, that has assassins in it. Because when they pretty much attack you, it gives a chance to where they electrocute off of you so you can actually DPS them at that point. Then we're going to run into Tank Gambit. Tank Gambit, a lot of people are iffy about when it comes to DPS characters, which is why I put it on my hybrid barb. So that way he takes far less damage. But yes, he does do a little bit less. But when you put that with Power Gambit right here, okay, so... They actually counteract each other. The power gambit increases how much damage you do more than what tank gambit reduces it. So you're still getting more damage from power gambit. And then, as you can tell from power gambit, you take 12% more damage. But if you look at tank gambit, you take 30% less. So you're still taking less damage while increasing your power. Now let's move on to the boots. The boots, I use Zerit's Wrath, and that's just so when I am in Whirlwind, I can get around the map a lot faster. You don't have to run that. If there's something else that you want to run, by all means, you are free to do that. It's not a make or break type situation. Then I run Bunny Hop so I can double jump and have increased movement speed, and then Speed Boost so I can increase my speed movement as well. Gloves. This is where it gets real good. So ride the lightning. It increases how much damage you are doing in lightning stance. This is another crucial one, just like the siphon one. Then reckless. Reckless is a must on any barbarian build. So when you have full wrath, you are dealing 25% more damage. That is insane when you are talking about how much damage you can actually do. And then construction, I just have that one there for if I want to repair anything or anything like that. If you want to put something else in that slot, you are free to. It, it's a free spot. Now we're going to talk about the primary weapon. I use weakness targeting, which you get from survival. Um, if you don't want to use it, that's fine. But you got to think lightning stance and then all the other stuff that you run on your weapons. Them are all status effects. So you are increasing how much damage you do every time you swing. Sundering blow. It reduces their resistance by 20%. That is another crucial one. Drenching strikes. I have that so that way I am constantly drenching them because on my weapons I run which I will show you in a minute I run certain chips on my weapon for certain things. So drenching strikes for me is a big one. Okay, now on to the secondary weapon. We are going to do Burning Strikes. Burning Strikes is so that way when you have a Draken Lord, you don't have to swap characters, swap back, or anything like that. You can just run up to the Draken Lord and drop his bubble and then kill him. The Stand Your Ground. This one, it is a hit and miss. If you want to swap it out, you can if you're all the time running around with your Barbarian. But if you stand in just one spot and use your Barbarian, you want to stand your ground. Because it increases how much damage you do and how much damage you take. It reduces when you are just standing there attacking. It is awesome for when you are just holding one lane. Then Tamer's Gambit. That is what allows your pet to deal so much damage. It does decrease how much damage you do, but the trade-off is well worth it, in my opinion. Then the ring, I use ring of life, so that way, uh, if I do end up dying, which is very rare, 
uh, I return with 100% of my health. And I deal 50% more damage. So, now let's talk about the mods on my weapons. So, on my primary, I am running an ice chip, controller chip, and internal combustion. The internal combustion, what it does is every time I kill an enemy with my barbarian, they explode dealing 100% of my hero health as damage to an area with all enemies nearby. The controller chip. That increases how much damage you are doing because, as you can see, I run a water chip as well. So when you are proccing the water and ice chip, you are now putting them under a controlled state. So, you're doing 55% more damage. The Vampiric Embrace. I absolutely love that they brought us this new mod. Because I can put my Barbarian in a lane. And even if, let's say, I have to go do something real quick. I put my Barbarian there and I don't have to worry because he's still constantly healing from the Vampiric Embrace. And then turn the tide while you're running Lightning and Siphon Stance, you're constantly healing up. Especially with also a Vampiric Embrace. So, after so many seconds, which is 5 seconds, it sends out all that damage that you just healed. And it is amazing okay so now I'm going to actually show you how I normally use my barbarian now that we've broken all of that down okay so let's go over here to the training dummies that someone has so graciously built on <laughs> uh, alright so as you can see right now in four seconds my pets already done almost a hundred million damage that is why you use Tamer's Gambit. Now, when you are trying to hold a lane with your Barbarian, you are going to hold in on your LB button. You're going to hit your RB button for Siphon Stance and then X for your Lightning. Them are considered buffs. And then when you go up to actually fight an enemy, what I like to do is hit Echoing Shout so that way they take more damage. And then I'll pop my pet ability. So, what it's going to look like is, let's turn these off real quick. You're going to pop Siphon, Lightning, Echoing Shout, pet ability, and then you're going to start swinging away. Now, the damage from my Barbarian and my pet mixed, as you can tell, deal a decent amount of damage. 400 million in 10 seconds. That is awesome for me. I am happy with them type of numbers. Now, you could do more with the hero damage build. If you want that, I'm sure there are people who actually have other videos on that. But, I've had many people request my barbarian setup. Which is why I decided to make this video for you guys. So that way, you guys know how to use this. Now... Another thing, the reason my Barbarian doesn't die, even in, uh, let's say, 900s on Onslaught, and this has been tested. If you are going up against an enemy that you know is going to smack you one time and kill you every time, take off Lightning Stance and hurry up and put on Turtle Stance. With that, you now have a much more survivability. He can take so much damage when you are running siphon and turtle stance and you are just standing there swinging away it's a lot slower but you're constantly staying full health with the vampiric embrace the siphon stance and turtle stance decreasing how much damage you take so if there are ever any more questions on what you guys have just watched please feel free to leave a comment and the description down below if you love the setup for my barbarian and you guys want to see more videos like this please drop a like on it and uh, share it with all your friends and all your fellow DD2 members and drop me a subscribe as well let me know you guys want to see more stuff like this alright I appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one